Today we're going to talk a little bit about pixels because it's a question we get a lot from both photographers and artists who want to photograph their own work um, for reproduction, for print reproduction. And they say, they call up and people typically say, how big can I print my photo? Will it be good enough to print? And will the colors come out the same? And that's kind of a difficult question to, under, or to answer if you don't understand a little bit about pixels. So we're going to talk a little bit about pixels, the number of pixels in your file, and how they're divided up for print. Ideally, in order to give you a good print, we need uh, 300 pixels per inch. We can accept as low as 150 pixels per inch, but beyond that, we really can't give great results. Let me show you some examples, and we'll talk about that. Here are two files, um, both of the same painting. The file on the left here was taken by one of our clients, and the file on the right here is a scan uh, that we did ourselves here using our Better Light scanner. So let's look at the file on the left here. You can tell already that's a little bit darker in some of the areas here than the file on the right. Um, some of the shadows are, are a little bit too dark. Um, so it's, it's an okay photo, but it's not a great photo. Now if we want to look at the resolution to see at what size we can print it, we go up here in Photoshop to image, image size. And you can see here that we have 2,387 pixels uh, with by height of 2,683 pixels. At 300 pixels per inch, which is ideally what we would like, we can only print this file to be roughly 8.9 or 9 by 9 by 7. If we go to our lowest acceptable resolution right here, and notice I'm not resampling the image, and resampling the image means I'm changing the number of pixels up here. At 150 pixels per inch, we can print this file 15.9 by 17.8 inches. It'll look okay, but it might not look great. What some people try and do here, let's put this back to 300, when they don't have enough pixels and they ask us how many pixels we need, is they'll go up here and they'll just change the number of pixels, for example. And at 5,000 pixels, you can see I can print this. Um, Oops, I forgot to constrain proportions. Let's do that again. At 5,000 pixels, I can print this 16 by, by 18, or roughly 16.6 .6 by 18.7. But you're not really inventing pixels. You're not adding new pixels. What Photoshop is doing here is it's taking the average between the pixels that were there and adding new ones with that average. So if you do that very much, your, your file looks pixelated. What you need is you need a good scan to begin with with enough pixels to begin with that you don't have to go mucking around with it like that to not get great results. So let's look at the file at the right here and we'll go up to image again, image size. Now this is a file that was taken by us and you can see this file will print 16 by 18 at 300 dpi. It has a native resolution of 4,800 pixels wide by 5,400 pixels tall. That's a pretty good sized file. And if you want to know how many megapixels you have in, in a file, what you do is you multiply the width by the height and divide it by a million. Quite simple. We'll do that here on the next file. Let's take a look at a bigger file. And this is a question we get a lot from artists is, you know, will my camera be good enough to take a picture uh, of my painting and will I get good results? Well, that depends on really the size of your painting. Because if we, for example, the, the larger that you get, the larger your painting is, the more difficult it is with your consumer camera to take an adequate file. In fact, impossible. So we'll use this as an example. This painting was about 32 by 42 inches. 
we scan this with our scanner and if you go here and you look at the image size you can see that the native file size is 12,678 pixels by 9,414 pixels. If we take our handy calculator here and we just take that 12,678 and multiply it by 9,414 and we divide it by a million you can see that we have a file that is 119 megapixels. So with a prosumer camera, it would be absolutely impossible to capture a 30 by 40 painting adequately for print. Whereas with our scanner, we are able to do it. I hope that answers some of the questions people have about file size and resolution and what's acceptable.